as you can see, there is a lot of smoke coming out of the area. Again, we're live at the Cold Springs Farm. the spotty connection guys we, we're trying to drive drive around a little bit get a good connection out here uh we're live at the the cold springs fire right now you can see all this smoke in the background as we're driving around the area a lot of people are leaving right now getting out of here right now um and last reported the fire grew to 500 acres uh, at zero percent containment the original report of the fire came in at about one o'clock today. Um, let's give you guys a good look out the window here as we're parked. I'm seeing a lot of comments here about the air quality and it is listed as unhealthy right now. You can see all of the smoke just billowing, billowing out of the area. to get out and take a little walk around while we're just stopped in this parking lot here give you guys a good look at what's going on out here as you can see there are a lot of people out and about taking photos right now but all of this smoke just in the area so the original report that came in, it indicated that there were three fires on both sides of the highway, which prompted uh, Northbound to be shut, to uh, be closed. And it quickly grew to 50 acres by about 140. And last we checked, the fire grew to 500 acres. For those of you commenting about the air quality right now, um, the air quality is listed as unhealthy right now. And that's per airnow.gov, which is something you can go online and check. And um, you, um, let's get a good look here. Um, if you look real closely here, you can see flames still burning on this side. See you guys, good luck. So there are some evacuations in place right now that I do want to let you guys know about. Uh, south of White Lake Parkway and west of Crystal Canyon Boulevard are both evacuated. We saw the Washoe County Sheriff's Office hasty team out knocking on people's doors, letting them know um, about this fire. And I, I, we might not be at, good, at a good angle to see this right now, but there were many helicopters, I think we counted three helicopters in the area, um, who, that were dropping water onto the fire. And we saw a couple of planes as well. So these resources are being diverted from other fires into the area. And they're uh, being diverted to this fire right now because of the homes in the area. It's very close to some homes. And I just got word that there is a large animal evacuations are being taken at O'Brien Middle School. And now Red Rock Road is also closed east of 395 due to the Cold Springs fire. And the Sheriff's Office is asking you to please avoid that area. If you live in the area, stay alert, be prepared and move. And that is what they are tweeting out right now. Again, I do want to reiterate that the air quality is being listed as unhealthy. Well, we were we were driving around a little earlier, just getting the, the lay of the land, seeing everything. And we actually, um, we didn't witness this, but the sheriff's office pointed us in the direction of how they dropped the fire return in the area. And it was just right behind the homes, maybe at, um, you know, 50 feet away from homes um, it, it, to help protect them. There, uh, right now, right here where I'm standing, there are no homes right here, but as I give you a look around, there are businesses in this area. And right around on the other side of this ridge, there are many homes right there. 
people are asking to stay vigilant. This is a serious situation. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office keeps reiterating, please be prepared if you need to evacuate. Again, for anyone just hopping into this Facebook Live right now, we're live here at that Cold Springs fire. Uh, last reported, it was 500 acres. We can see some of the crews making their ways in. That is the Chucky Meadows Fire Protection District making their way in right now. Many resources are being diverted from other fires in this area to help fight this fire. This is a very large priority at the moment because of all the homes in the area. Yeah, I see some people asking about cause of the fire. The cause of the fire is not known at this time. And I, I feel, um, I see some people commenting about the size of the fire and how quickly it grew. And you know what, with all of these dry fuels out there, all, all of these fuels are, that are burning, you can see there's a lot of sage and cheatgrass right up out in this area here. Those burn quickly and act as uh, huge fuels for fires. Currently listed at 500 acres for those of you just hopping into the Facebook Live right now. I'm gonna give you guys the most updated information. We'll make our way right over here. Give you guys a good look. You know, I see some people commenting. Yes, there's the reservoir right here, which is helpful in this situation. There are a lot of helicopters and planes that are able to dip in there and pull that water out to help drop on the area. As you can see here, even from when the beginning of this Facebook Live to right now, you can see all of the smoke moving into the area. It's getting very heavy here. For those of us just joining, us right now that we're live at the Cold Springs fire is listed at 500 acres and 0% containment. This fire broke out at around uh, 1 o'clock today. I believe the official report says 1.04 p.m. Again, anyone, if you have any questions that I did not The connection out here guys um it is very spotty connection <coughs> so i just got word from the nevada highway patrol that northbound 395 at cold springs the left lane is open but the right lane is now shut down i expect uh intermittent road closures in the area you know, that's, that's primarily to help crews get in and out and get to where they need to be going. As you can see, uh, this smoke is moving in quickly. It's moving in very quickly. And according to airnow.gov, the air quality was listed as unhealthy. GPS map and get an idea of where this fire is burning, where to go next, where to send the crews out to. Uh, for anyone joining us, they are diverting many crews, including dozers, hand crews, and air support from other uh, fires in the area.
anyone just hopping into this right now, this is the Cold Springs Fire, burning in Cold Springs. A report came in at about 1.04 p.m. today, um, and uh, it was originally reported that there were three fires on both sides of the highway, and that's Highway 395 there. Um, but now, all we're seeing right here is smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Just to give you a location of where I'm standing right now, we're right off of Red Rock Boulevard. And I, I believe it's Moya Boulevard that we're standing at right here. There's a, a little business complex here and... You can hear all the sirens in the background right now. Let me give you a look around besides just smoke. We'll give you a little bit here. There's uh, more Trucking Meadows Fire Protection District crews coming in right now. They're being assisted by the Reno Police Department, it looks like. There are structures that are threatened. There are evacuations in place right now. I do not have a number of how many structures or an estimate of how many that is at the moment. Springs fire here and it's moving towards the Red Rock area here. I'm standing at Red Rock Boulevard and Moya Boulevard. As you can see, uh, it originally sparked on the other side, uh, right near 395 and is moving towards us. As you can uh, see here, uh, the wind is blowing this way too and that, that's assisting with the fire moving in this direction. Just as a reminder, Red Rock is now Red Rock Road is closed east of 395, and that's due to the fire. And the sheriff's office is asking people to please avoid that area. If you live in this area, they're saying stay alert, be prepared, and and be prepared to move. Just a reminder for anyone hopping in right now, there are large animal evacuations, and that's at O'Brien Middle School. So just to give you another another uh, um, look at how big this is, um, BLM is here, Truckee Meadows Fire Protection District, and there are many air resources on the team as well. <laughs> just as a reminder, evacuations are still in place for Crystal Canyon and White Lake Parkway. Uh, earlier, we were out here, we were driving around, we saw the Sheriff's Office Hasty team out here. They're knocking on doors, letting people know to be prepared and be ready to move. the Nevada Highway Patrol 395 at Cold Springs is closed both northbound and southbound at Stead. Cheryl, I see you asking about Arrow right now. I am not too sure if they are evacuating it. I just have that list of those three roads right now. Um, the best thing you could uh, do right now is um, if you feel like you need to self-evacuate, you can self-evacuate. Um, and just check in with your local agencies and see what's going on. And also, uh, when evacuations are placed in the area, HACI team is usually around to help out. Tanya, I know it is very smoky out here right now. 
the air quality is listed as unhealthy. So if you don't need to be outside right now, you know, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency is suggesting don't be outside, don't be breathing, breathing in that heavy smell, especially for older adults and younger children. towards us and you can see some of the crews are stopping right here. Um, I see a question here from Cora. Where exactly did the fire jump the road on uh, Red Rock? I have it that it's reported in the 9500 block of Red Rock Road. And here's another update from you from the Nevada Highway Patrol. 395 North um, Northeast Lake is closed and the road is shut down northbound and southbound. Now everyone, I, I do wanna give you a little uh, heads up here. I am running out of some phone battery. Um, so if this live video just cuts out, uh, please join us on um, rgj.com. We have rolling updates going. We have many reporters going out there, getting the most updated information for you as this fire keeps growing. Yeah, good luck around here. Resources, both local and federal in the area right now helping out with this fire we have uh, US Forest Service we have BLM we have Reno fire Chucky Meadows fire protection district we have a lot of people on scene we also have air support in the area helping fight this fire it first sparked um, near 395 so that's in the Cold Springs area which is why it's called the Cold Springs fire uh, because of winds it moved east though and now we're actually seeing the cor uh, about the corner of Moya Boulevard on Red Rock Boulevard, a nice little uh, business complex right here. There are evacuations in place right now. Well, if you look up here, you can see some of the planes flying over. Just want to give you an update on that. The evacuations are still at Silver Knolls in the area of Silver Knolls. And also, one second, I want to get this right for you. It's, it's south of White Lake Parkway and west of Crystal Canyon Boulevard. And for our larger furry friends, you can evacuate large animals to O'Brien Middle School. Washoe County is asking that you please bring um, some extra water buckets for them, though, if you can. You know, people asking about evacuations instead, I do not know at this time um, if if you, that's anything to be worried about right, right here. The best thing to do is stay vigilant right now and to keep checking in with your local media and with your local agencies to just be aware that this fire is going on out here and stay vigilant. Crews are out there busy fighting these fires. Um, they have been uh, 
initiating structure protection. They've been dropping a fire retardant in the area to help stop that fire, to create that fire line. Please stay vigilant to be safe and be prepared. And right now we're right in that Red Rock area, Red Rock Boulevard and Moya Boulevard. You know, the Washoe County Sheriff's Office, they keep a very um, active Twitter. Um, for anybody uh, wanting to stick along with this fire, they're saying, you know, if you live in the area of this fire, stay alert and be prepared to move. Again, for anyone just hopping into this Facebook Live right now, I apologize if my phone dies out on you. I'm kind of running out of battery out here, but just wanted to let you know this fire started right near 395 in Cold Springs. It sparked right there. Original report said that they saw um, three fi separate fires um, that kind of morphed into one here, and it quickly grew uh, to 50 acres by about 140 today. And as you can see, even from the start of this Facebook Live to right now, this fire has kept on moving east towards us right now. Um, and we're standing in the area of Red Rock Boulevard and Moya Boulevard in this uh, nice business complex here. And uh, we've been seeing many air resources um, on this fire. We've seen helicopters. We've seen planes flying around. If you look over here, I'm going to try to get the, get over here for a shot of this, but you can see this helicopter uh, kind of in the smoke here. It'll probably be dropping some water in that area. If you can't see it, you can definitely hear it. Again, there are several evacuations in place. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office is asking everyone to please stay safe, be smart, and vigilant right now and those areas are in the area of silver hills and also evacuations are in place south of white lake parkway and west of crystal canyon boulevard and we also do have many road closures in place right now let me see if Oh, and I just got this in from Washoe County. Right now, the Livestock Event Center has been open for livestock. But, but please bring water buckets. Small animals are now asked to go to O'Brien Middle School. So we have livestock going, to, livestock going to the Livestock Event Center and small animals going to O'Brien Middle School right now. Again, some of these road closures that are in place, US 395 North East Lake is shut down northbound. 395 at Cold Springs is shut down northbound and southbound at Stead. <clears throat> also, just as an update, in case I missed that earlier, the Cold Springs fire did jump, um, did jump a road and it jumped at the 9500 block of Red Rock Road and it keeps moving eastbound. Give you a good look over here. You can hear that helicopter coming through. Right now, just as a reminder, we are in Red Rock, not Stead. See the helicopter just dropped right onto that fire right there. I'm so sorry about that, Tiffany, if you can't hear the road closures. Um, for better, uh, for other updates, Patrol on Twitter and keep checking back at rgj.com. We're going to have all of this posted for you as well, right in that article, so you can just look at it and, and see it as well. Uh, we'll go through those road closures there. It's North East Lake and it's shut down northbound and southbound, and that's at 395. We also have another one 395 at Cold Springs, northbound and southbound are shut down at Stead.
we're gonna be moving out of this area. It's getting a little too close for comfort right now. Um, and as you can see, this fire has moved so fast um, right to right up where we were since we started this. You can hear those flames crackling right there, and you can hear the helicopters above us right now. Um, I just like to thank everyone for joining us today. Uh, this is a breaking news situation, so it's evolving very quickly. Uh, please feel free.